Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first episode of Let's Debate. This is where I have three questions prepared for all three of us, and each th all three of us will say our opinion, and we can all jump in and disagree or agree with the person, and we just debate, and that's why it's called Let's Debate. So, Spencer, say what's up to the folks. What up, folks? Andrew, say what up to the folks. What's up, folks? All right, we say what's up to the folks. First question is, Fortnite is a billion-dollar game company. It's all Epic's doing a great job with it, but... Season 7 has a lot of new things coming to it with the winter theme and snow everywhere. What is your guys' predictions of what's going to happen at the end of Season 7? Andrew, I want your answer first. Alright, clear cut answer. Straight to the point. I think that right. the snow biome that they introduced for Season 7 is going to melt and flood either the entire map or part of the map. And what? Why? There has been evidence, um, such as for the Season 7 Battle Pass, Tier 48, there is a Porthole Spray, Tier 62, there's a Melting Snowman Spray, Tier 80, there's a Baited Fish Spray, and Tier 84, there is an Octopus Icon. And in the past, Epic has liked to tease things through the Battle Pass, as well as multiple seasons ahead of like the season that they're on i can confirm these things are in the battle pass and there have also been like skins like the snorkel ops uh chomp senior reef ranger wrecked raider suntan specialist sun strider and the entire brand new fish food set that came out yesterday all right all right i i really can't disagree with that because the fi the fish stick skin did just come out and it is a good indicator. Also, there is a submarine. Yes, by Polar there is. Peak. I forgot about that. And it, but I just don't... But here's the thing. I think the only thing that's going to cause, like, water, like, like where we have to swim, is where uh, Polar Peak, because it's on a huge, like, glacier. Like, a huge, like, just yeah. big mountain of ice. So I feel like that will melt if anything is going to cause a flood. If it doesn't, like, flood the entire map or just, like, a small portion, I was thinking that since the Viking Village waterfall froze over and Greasy Grove is under, like, the ice, maybe just that section will, um, unfreeze and melt, and then we'll have, like, the running Viking Village waterfall again, but Greasy Grove will be underwater, and maybe you can just swim in that area. So it's not, like, a giant portion of the map is underwater, right. because I don't really know how... They would be able to do that unless they built, like, something to keep the water away from the rest of the map. Like a dam. Yeah. But also, um, the creative director of Fortnite, uh, Donald Mustard, on um, December 19th, he tweeted that uh, basically he went on vacation, or he's on vacation, and he was, like, jet skiing, and he, like, cliff jumped or whatever. And then he tweeted and said that um, by doing that, it actually gave him a good idea for something totally not associated with jumping off a cliff. And then he said maybe in season nine. So if it doesn't happen in season eight, it'll probably happen in season nine. Like the swimming mechanic will come into the game. All right. All right. So Spencer, what's your what's your opinion? On what's going to happen at the end of season seven? What are you thinking? Alright, so listen, so, um, I kind of have the complete opposite look at this that Dewey does, but, like, his evidence is obviously backs it up more, but, um, like, the sniper skins that they came out with, they were leaked, like, so, so long ago, like, before season, season 7 even came out, and, like, when Dusty was originally, like, itself, it had no trees and whatnot, we know it got hit, and then, like, the trees like, started slowly growing back, and now, like, Dusty is filled with trees. But, like, nothing else has ever happened with Dusty. So, like, I feel like maybe 
something is going to continue to grow there and it's going to that portion of the map or something with dusty will happen where it becomes like a forest and like little tree stands are in them and it's more of like a sniping portion of the map i don't know that's what i think is going to happen towards that portion of the map dewey i like he obviously has more evidence but i don't know so i don't really have any evidence that, like, other than the skin more sniping towers will be added yeah like towards like the big dusty towers because, like, like from lonely the the amount of the like the amount of trees that Dusty has had has been changing, like, rapidly. But, like, no one's yeah. ever said anything about it. So I think maybe, like, the cube will be reincorporated or some sort of figure that changes it once again into maybe a, like, huge forest. Just going on record, um, I can confirm that the cube might be making a return. No promises, though. Well, here's what I think. No, here's what I think, though. I like Spencer's idea. Like, I like Spencer's idea with more sni like something that's gonna happen to Dusty because we haven't seen a change in Dusty since uh, the whole like cube thing and like uh, the season where Omega and the uh, and all comet, that. the meteor. Yeah, we haven't seen like anything besides trees grow there. Uh, besides the diner that was added in by it, but like I'm thinking like that area of the map with salty and all that is gonna be gone. I think it's gonna get replaced. From what though? I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know what's gonna replace it. Cause you know, you know how glaciers like, move. That's probably what's gonna yeah. happen, dude. Like, I feel like Polar Beast's gonna be moved to where Salt, cause Salty's been around for forever. Yeah, but the Dusty's glacier still glided. There. Salty's legendary, bro. The glacier yeah, glided still, with the island, still, which I feel like it still stopped might the glacier moved. from moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even though that they added in like a tilted another tilted towers like paradise what like people thought was gonna be like tilted towers 2.0 but it just is not. Everyone so snobby like is like tilted, bro. Everyone drops snobby. I feel like there's three tilteds on the map, bro. It's well, like biome wise, it's definitely tilted towers in like the grass biome. Then there's paradise palms in the desert biome, and then. I I'm, I'm gonna say Happy Hamlet, even though like not a lot of people drop there, just because of the amount of buildings that there are for the snow biome. I think that's what they're going for, Happy Hamlet to be another. I think every time they add a new biome, they're gonna go like with another. They're gonna try and make a place that has like a lot of loot and a lot of buildings and cover and stuff. But I can see something happening to Dusty. I think they're just gonna keep it like keep updating it maybe at like a slow rate like because they didn't add the diner till the end of last season or towards the end of last season yeah i don't know if like a major change will happen but it's possible also there's like apparently there's a rock like figure that's in wailing woods that was put in i can't remember what season maybe like that towards the end of last season but um Apparently, it's starting to move around like Wailing Woods, so something could be going on with that. Or it could be like Kevin 2.0, like another version of the cube or something. Alright, well, those, that was that was a good talk to talk about. Not a lot of disagrees. A lot of more of agrees and more opinions. But we got our second question. We got to move on here. Alright. Fortnite has added in a lot of new vehicles, weapons, and all that good stuff. But... Some of it is toxic to the game in some people's opinions. What is one thing you would remove from Fortnite in this day and age? Andrew, hit me with it. Just one thing? Just one thing. I'm going to go with, um, I think right now the game's at like a good state, like weapon-wise, balance-wise. But ever since they added the, um update where they buffed the pump shotgun i just feel like the heavy shotgun and the tack shotgun have been pretty useless so i'm gonna say remove the tack shotgun or the heavy but one or the other or even both because i don't feel there's a real purpose to even pick those up unless you don't have a gun especially since they added in the epic and legendary pump variations i can agree with that 100 percent spencer what about what are you thinking what do you want removed um um i agree with dewey that like the weapons are sort of balanced like at this point after they released the tommy gun and vaulted that and whatnot but 
from my standpoint, I just find like absolutely no point to have an airplane. But uh uh-huh. like I get the I get it if you have an airplane. But like if you're driving an ATK or quad crasher, you don't have a turret mounted to one of those that you can sit on and right. spray. But keep in mind, For the, the airplane, airplane plane's still, like, inaccurate. It's very inaccurate. Yeah, but you can't like, really, like, scope in or aim. It's different, too, because, like, if you're in an airplane, everyone is looking up to you, and, like, it's harder to shoot you down. Like, if you're on an ATK that has a turret, it would be, like, it'd be different, because it'd be easier to get you off of it. I just feel like there's no point in having a plane. Like, it doesn't go along with snow. They have nerfed the plane, though, to do, like, more damage to the player if it gets blown up, and they've given it less health. Right, but I just don't really understand the point of it. I'm going on record again that uh, the airplane has saved our squad multiple times from the storm. I can confirm that. Right, but add yeah. something that doesn't have a weapon on it. I mean, like, they can take away the weapon. No point. Like, that's not that big of a deal. Ruins, it ruins fights. Instead of just taking away the weapon, I feel like you just want it completely gone because it can, like, destroy builds and do damage to you, too, if you get hit by it. Yeah. I can see that happening. Well, I'm thinking I'm thinking the thing that we got to take out, I, I, I want planes out, man. I'm agreeing with Spencer here. I just want planes out. The reason, because we have the ATK, the golf cars are like none, so you're really just seeing ATKs around. And really think about it, you can fly with ATKs if you're skilled with it. But, planes are just like annoying, man. Like, you're going, you about to get in a build fight with a dude, right? And then you just see a plane come out of nowhere and crash the whole build fight, you, die, you get knocked off 20 feet by a plane, die of fall damage, and then that kid also dies from fall damage from its plane, and then that guy in the plane is a no skinny who has zero guns and just is flying around. And then like you just, just like planes are just annoying, man. Like planes shouldn't be able to like break. Like you really think, you really think if you take a plane like that, it's gonna break a building? No, that building's gonna absorb absorb that thing, and that plane's gonna die. I think if they're gonna keep planes in, don't mm. let it take down builds. I feel like planes should just like immediately explode if they hit hit something like that. This game is not realistic. So, so but what you just said was basically like you're talking in real life. Fortnite's not like realistic. I'm just like that. I'm just saying I'm just saying planes. If planes were taken out of the game by Epic tomorrow, I would not be mad. Okay, it's I can like agree with planes being taken out. Like if you're talking about one of the vehicles should be vaulted because they have been coming out with like a lot of vehicles and there are a lot in the game right now like we're supposed to be getting a hoverboard like snowboard hybrid vehicle that was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago but they had to delay it because of like whatever like some issues but that's still coming out so there's going to be another vehicle but it is the first single player vehicle so i don't know they might vault planes when that comes out or vault a different vehicle like shopping carts since no one really uses those anymore. Yeah, no one. Yeah, uses why are those carts. still like a thing? I know. I, I saw one the other day. I was like, oh hey. I remember, remember when they were like the first... hype? You used to jump them off mountains and stuff. Well, yeah, it was the first vehicle, like the first like new way to move around. So, I feel like those will stay in though because they don't really like do much. Like it's it can be used as like a decoration, like in certain parts of the map or a vehicle. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, they can still save you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can. I just feel like if I'm right. running past a shopping cart and, like, the storm is behind me, I just won't take the time to get in it. I think you'll forget that it's actually a vehicle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, pointless. All right. Well, that was another good question right there. But we're on to our third and final question. And this one's a little fun one. I like this one. What is your top three skins from season seven so far throughout Christmas? That's not that we didn't see last year, so you cannot include the crack shot or anything like that. So like no nog ops, no nothing like that. No, like no um, no Codename uh, elf, the yeah, gingerbread no skins. No, no gingerbread skin. The burning gingerbread skins you can do. Those are different. Those are definitely different. Those were added this year. You can use the burning gingerbread skins. 
So, so Andrew, basically, any any skim from season seven or the battle pass. Yeah, inc yeah the battle pass is included with season seven. So Andrew, start with three, then two, then one, and tell me what it is. Oh wait, they're like in order. Yeah, Richard third, okay. second, first. Well, I'm not gonna be battle pass biased because I think the battle pass has three of the best skins. So okay. I will go. Okay, that's, with... that's fine. You can pick those three. I will go with Slushy Soldier as number three, the snowman skin. Oh. Grimble's oh. the gnome skin as number two. What? And the Ice King, even though I don't have him unlocked yet, as number one from the battle pass. Okay, hold on. Slushy Soldier, I like Slushy Soldier because I like the color scheme of it. But the gnome... Can the gnome. All right, hear me what? out, bro. The gnome. We've never seen a skin like that before. If you think about it, I'm pretty sure it was 1,200 V bucks. The back bling mm -hmm. is a. It's a blue skin. Yeah, the back bling is a reactive back bling. Like when I'm, um, it was like a lantern or something, and like when, um. The night would fall in Fortnite. It would light up, and then when day obviously came back around, it would stop lighting up. But also, I like the color scheme of it because we've never had the color of his pants on any other skin, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's like a um, maroon, like, magenta, purplish color. And I just think that the blue from his shirt goes good with that. Plus, his um, feet are frozen, like his shoes and part of his legs. I don't know, I just like weird Yeah, I like that like part. That. That's the only part I like. I just like weird skins like that. I know you. Okay. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ice King. Plus his... Slushy Soldier, maybe. His, uh... The gnome skin, his eyes glow. Like, he has another selectable style. Oh. So there's two... Oh, yeah. Like, the pick... Or, the back bling is reactive, and you can change his style. So, I mean, you get... All right, you, well, I agree with You get your money's those. worth on that skin. I don't agree with the gnome. Spencer. Give me three, right. two, one. Oh man, um, my number three. Oh, uh, Need a pass. My number three is gonna have to be the Ice King. Ice King at three. What? Then I want to hear the two and one. Oh man, at number I know two, it. he's gonna be battle pass biased, which is fine. Like I didn't want to do that though, so. Number two. I'm definitely going with Krampus. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. I kind of forgot Ooh. about Krampus, even though he just released like two just days because ago. because the bro, he's just he's just monster, ago. bro. Like you don't. It's just dope. Yeah, Krampus is and... Krampus is ba 100, percent but like, dang, I didn't think over the Ice King. I feel like I like the Krampus more just because I can actually use him now. Like I just can't use the Ice King right now. Cause obviously I don't have one locked, but... Alright, spit out your number one. I already know what Dude, it is. Dude, I don't know, bro. Bro, it's either Lynx or Zenith. Dude. No, I don't think it's what it no. is. No, it is. My number one for season seven is... Fish Stick! <laughs> nah! No. Oh my god. Are you I'm lying? I'm totally lying, bro. It's Lynx stage four. It's Lynx. Okay. It's Lynx stage four. I knew right. it was definitely going to be Lynx. Bro. All right. I, I'm sorry, dude. It's just so clean. All right. Wow, I, feel I, can't believe, I can see I why. I didn't think was going to say Lynx. Stage three, actually, because that tail I knew he was going to say eh. Lynx, bro. That's. Yeah, the entire Lynx set is it's his favorite. Insane, just because it's clean and, like, simple and sick. I like those bro. skins. All right. I knew that would All be right, here's number one. my number three. My number three, like, I was really thinking about it. I'm like, okay, people are gonna, I'm like, Spencer and Andrew are gonna forget about these skins. And my number three is the Frozen Love Ranger. I didn't forget about those skins, I just didn't want to include them because they're a pack. No, they're, they're completely new skins. Like I said, like how I said the burnt gingerbread men. I guess you're right, they are. But, like, those three skins in general are not my favorite. Like, I just didn't do them because they were, like, a skin pack. They weren't, like, individual. You know what I mean? Links. Yeah. 
No, but I'm going Frozen Love Ranger mainly because the man glows. He's the only Frozen one that glows, dude. His eyes glow, yeah. like the swirls in his chest glow, and he's like well, I mean, all they, blue. All of their... Then like his, yeah. and then his swings. I know, and then his wings are just. His wings are so he's nice. The only one that looks like and his wings go with every single. He other looks like Frozen an ice skin. sculpture. Like, the Raven with the wings look dope. Yeah, and then like. Krampus the wings, the wings with is fire. Yeah, I, I can see that actually being dope too. Like he just, it just is so nice. But like, he's just better. He's the best one out of all three. So my number two, the <sighs> Lynx. I just like right. Lynx. I like yes. it. I, I like know Lynx Zach's just number because one. She's just, she's just slim. I know so it's slim. Probably. I don't think. Not much to say Maybe about I... Lynx. Every, everyone likes Lynx. Number one, and this is kind of just a gimme. Is Ice King, bro? Ice King. All I thought he was them. gonna say. If Zeta. I had a purple, I'm picking red and black. Can but we take I'm going a Ice King. Can we take a second, really quick? So, Can you guys go to your battle pass and go to tier 71, the uh, Trog skin, and let me know if you've <laughs> ever seen somebody in a game with that. Yeah, I've seen people. Does anyone with have that. it? That's the question. I would use it, bro. I like those kind of skins. I on anything have. Not bro, he's just funny. Zoom Leave Trog alone, bro. <laughs> dude, no one wants to use Trog, dude. Dude, I've never, I've never seen him. On God, I've never seen anybody use. Bet. him. I guarantee you, when you unlock him, you'll at least use him for one game. Yeah, I, I probably yeah, will. Just uh, he's goofy. But, like, yo, he's hey, goofy. on a real note, on a real note, go look at Ice King and tell me that he's not the older brother of Raven. He's more successful. I mean, he doesn't have, bro. Which which version of Ice King do you like the best? All of them, bro. Bro, Ice King, uh, the white version is dope, and so is the gold and orange. Like literally, all of them are good. I wish it was more all black and gold, like how it's all black in the red. That looks dope. All right, literally, the battle pass skins this season were very good, but I didn't want to be like bias towards the battle pass because literally i could easily chose zenith lynx and ice king you know what i mean because in my opinion those are probably the three best skins all right well it's time to get wrapping up here we had three really solid questions and we and we when we picked them out today and it was it was it was a good conversation and we agreed we disagreed and we just had a bunch of fun i'm hope i hope all of you out there enjoyed who watched this video please like and please subscribe to what's next wait, to get your wait, daily video wait. game content and hey, everything. Hey, wait, what do you, you got? Yeah, before you go. Slow down right there. I got, on, I got one question. Oh, God. What? Do you even know what's next? Wait, wait, wait. All right. What did he say? What did he say? Repeat, repeat the question. Please, please repeat. Uh, I, I said, um, do you know what's next? I don't. Question mark. Also, I, I have one more thing to say. To add to Zach's like, comment, and subscribe. Well, he didn't say comment, but I'm going to say comment down below your answers to the three questions asked in this video and just get a conversation started. And we also want to start taking your guys' questions. So this was a Fortnite special. Episode one was Fortnite special. Next, we don't know what we're going to do. But hopefully, if we get enough we can comments, do sports, movies. Oh yeah, we can do everything. But hopefully, if we get enough comments. We'll do a subscriber special where we take you guys' comments. So, thank you for watching, and remember, what's next? Woke up, told myself to push and never stop. I've been stressed out.